all right guys how's it going welcome to part two so i got the parts for the x5 engine so i did uh, get the head gasket it's from victor rennes so it's pretty much it's oem bmw supplier that's what they told me well i got it from uh fcp euro i'll link everything i got new head studs oem then i got front uh upper timing cover gaskets i got intake manifold gaskets and i got the new uh, valve which I'm gonna install and I've, I've already prepped the block so it's the surface is nice and smooth like this stuff don't worry it's been cleaned so it doesn't so see it doesn't grab it you can't grab it with your nails so it's been all cleaned and stuff it's been right here all clean so with the new valve what I'm gonna do, I have a paste, pretty much I'm gonna put paste around it, I'm gonna insert the valve in there and then I'm gonna put a like a hose that fits in here on the valve so I'm gonna put it and attach it the other side of the hose to the drill so that's like an old school method to uh, get the groove so because it's new so i want to make sure so it gets that groove properly so it closes it properly and then we're gonna put the gasket this the head and we're gonna start torquing the bolts i'll show you everything uh, step by step so right now i'm gonna get the i'm gonna find the hose that fits in the uh, valve so i'm gonna put in put the paste so the for the paste i believe i use this it's like a scuffing gel I got it, but it's well, it works fine. I did it on my E38 engine on the 750 IL when I rebuilt it. That's what I did on the valves, and they work fine. So I'll give it a good shake. Anyways, yeah. So let's go. All right, guys. So I've attached the drill. Now I'm gonna just get this done. all right guys it's out so that was the setup pretty much you attach this on a valve and you just use a drill so it gets the groove so it sits flush yeah so i'm gonna take that stamp out and wipe it and see what's going on so as you can tell it has like markings here so I'm gonna wipe it I mean also guys be super gentle with it don't bend this off as well all right guys as you can tell so let me focus if I can focus see it made the marks here so I got the grooving and same as with the bore inside the uh, see how it's polished in there right here so that's why you want to do that so it sits flush so now I'm uh, probably not probably but I'm gonna lubricate put some engine oil or like a engine assembly uh, grease whatever you have put this on then we're gonna put the spring back and uh, uh, also the keepers for the spring and then we're gonna put the head gasket and put the, the actual head on the block and then I'll show you the torque spec for the bolts but yeah all right stay tuned okay.
All right guys, I did set up the toolkit, so I'm gonna compress the spring and then I'm gonna uh, put the kippers so the spring and valve stays in place, so here we go. All right guys, simple as that, so here you go, I'll show you uh, all the, well, I've replaced all these seals here, but that one is done too, the valves is in, spring keepers, then you tap it with a, uh, like a hammer or like a rubber mullet, just a little bit, make sure it's secure, you know, just to confirm it. But yeah, now we're gonna install the head gasket and then put the actual head on the block and then we're gonna uh, torque the head and pretty much that's it for the head this side I mean it's still a lot of work but yeah all right all right guys now we're gonna install the head gasket I mean there is a way to install so you see this holes it has one two three four five holes that goes to the bottom and top has one two three i mean you can't mix match because also this two little holes should line up with the notches on the block so yeah here we go yeah See, see those two little nudges there? Right there. That, and there is one in front here. They should line up. You push it in, then obviously fit the guides and the chain through, because it's one piece. And we're ready for the block, I mean for the head to get installed. All right. All right, guys. Uh, the head is in. It took a little wiggling, but we got it in. Now I'm gonna put the studs, and I'll show you how to in order torque them and all that. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. Now I got torque wrench. So you wanna torque the bolts at uh, 30 newton meters or 22.1 pounds of feet. So you have to do it in order, obviously, just watch in which order I'm gonna go. I'll probably sh uh, post a template as well. Uh, once you torque it, all the bolts, 30 newton meters or 22.1 to be exact, uh, of, uh, the pounds on the torques. And then uh, obviously you do two full rotation. So you need something like this. So it has uh, nine, so you're gonna do 190 degree like once you're gonna pass all the bolts 90 degree then you're gonna do second time 90 degree pass and that's how you torque the bolts so the first one i just did it you start from the middle just to see All right guys, so they're just torqued. Obviously now we're gonna do the the 90 degree ones. So uh, we're gonna put that with this, like I said, with this, and we're gonna torque them 90, just in the same pattern, okay? So we're gonna start from the middle down, then outwards. So same pattern. And then once we do one full pass with this, then we're gonna wait maybe for like a minute or two to get the bolts to, so they're a little cold. So then we'll do second run again, same pattern, and then we're done torquing the head to the block. Simple as that.
So yeah guys, pretty much they're all torqued, you get the idea, also my camera died halfway through so sorry guys. So pretty much that's how you do follow in order, so once you do one pass, let the, uh, the studs cool down for like a minute or two, then go second round, same thing, 90 degree angles, and then pretty much you're done with torquing the, uh, the head. Now gonna install the uh, manifold so it's all clean cleaned up as much as I could uh, I mean I'm gonna probably blow some air compressed make sure nothing in there especially in the uh, valve areas and for the gaskets some people they just put it straight in here you know that's not how you do it so they're metal gaskets once you get it you see they have little this nudge so it goes on there pretty much this holds the gasket so you put it in here then flip it upside down and put it in the motor so that's what i'm gonna do next install the uh, manifold so i, I just won't, don't want to drop anything in here so i want it to be covered and then we'll probably next install lifters rockers then cams and stuff all that good stuff and obviously put the vanos gears uh, just the timing and then once we're done with this side and then we'll move on to the other side but yeah all right here we go all right guys so the benefit is in all you gotta do you gotta just torque those uh, 11 millimeter nuts so five in this side five in this side then I'll probably install the injector fuel rail as well so I don't drop anything in there just in case for the torque spec to be honest I don't know what's the torque spec for the manifold I just go by the fill so that's why I just get a small ratchet you don't want to get the medium size or bigger one because you can you, you, you can over torque it and strip the bolt or break the stud whatever I always tend to use this kind of ratchet small one for the smaller bolts so I can go by the fill that's what I'm gonna do yeah so let me just do those uh, 10 uh, 11 mil nuts that's it and then we'll continue more Alright guys, so the manifold is fully torqued. I've also installed the fuel rail because I don't want to drop anything in the holes again. Nothing this time. Uh, so for the uh, injectors, pretty much uh, where you have the o-ring, I just put some lubrication, just a little bit, maybe grease so slides in. Well, I also cleaned the holes for it. So this is all torqued. Now, uh, uh, Hold on, I'm breaking stuff here. <laughs> now, pretty much what I'm doing, I'm gonna install the, well, I've put one already just to show you guys. Uh, so that's a lifter inside here and that's a rocker. So, all right guys, take two. Someone walked in, so sorry. Yeah, so pretty much that's, so that's the uh, lifter here and that's a rocker. So obviously put some lubrication, engine oil or engine assembly, lube, whatever you have. I'm using some engine oil. Also I've cleaned the areas with the Q-tips. So I'm lubricating and putting them. And also it's super crucial that you have to put it in order the way you took it out, right? The top ones, you gotta go to the top ones in the same place. Bottom ones, gotta go bottom ones, same place. Well, if you ask me how, I know because all the parts that I have here, I've labeled them. So the brown ones, they go on the bottom with the camshaft here. All right, guys, take three. Uh, this time my uh, memory card was full. Oh my gosh. So if you ask me how I know, brown ones goes to the bottom because I've labeled the camshaft as camshaft as well. So it goes in there. Green ones goes with this. So and I have numbers as well. So. That's how I know, so I'm gonna lubricate each one, install it, and put the top cam uh, intake side first. And then uh, I'll do the bottom exhaust side. Once we all torque that everything, 
then we're gonna install the vanos gears and this the way you tell which side is which so it's if you can focus come on hold on let me put it so see it says e in so that's intake side so that goes to the intake side and this one has aux exhaust so that's the exhaust side and that's the bolts for it we also have the some oil rail and punch a thing and this caps they go they have numbers on it so you can you can't like place uh mismatch them i mean i'll show you i mean it's probably hard to see so that's all exhaust side but yeah so yeah here we go let me just install all the lifters and rockers here then we'll put the cam intake side all right all right guys i'm sorry i got a little carried away some friends showed up so i couldn't film pretty much i've uh finished this side but i will show you the other side out i know i've just put this and i cut it off so pretty much once you put this on then you've put this uh camshaft on uh the exhaust side make sure uh the cylinder too those lobes they're facing up so you're not pushing against any valves when you're gonna tighten this uh caps and for the caps they have numbers on them so you can mix match them they're one through uh, i don't know what five they're labeled and they're like facing up numbers then obviously you got old tube you got like this brackets that hold then this little guide then bolts and i'll i'll show you i've timed this side already it's timed this bank so you have two like little nudges then you have two little dots here they got a face up then you got tools that you put well i've installed the front cover the vanna solenoids the brake booster so this bank is done pretty much uh besides the valve cover but i'll show you this side guys uh so i've replaced all this uh valve stem seals because uh, i just didn't <laughs> I mean I didn't show it because I've showed it on part one so I've put the rockers back in same order and now what we gonna do we're gonna install the cams right so before I install the cam well I'm gonna lubricate the spots where the cam seat sits and then I'll show you how to time it and stuff in order to take this front cover I had to take the alternator because uh, the alternator was on my way so I couldn't reach to that one single bolt here so I have to take the alternator out keep in mind if it's on the car it's probably a little harder but yeah uh, so yeah so now we're gonna install the cams and time this side and then we should be good then we'll recheck obviously well right now uh, before you want to install the cams and stuff make sure your uh, crank is locked so it's in a locked position right now so i have my pin installed so it won't go anywhere and now yeah let's install the cams Alright guys, so the uh, the cam is in, intake side, I mean don't be scared, just maybe a little wiggle it, but make sure all the root, uh, retainers is on, because oh, it has this uh, Voftronic system in it, so make sure the retainers, they're not popped, also once you install the cam, make sure all the rockers, they're in, they're in place like with the uh, actual valve so they're not like uh, out of place so I've just checked that everything seems good 
now we're just gonna pretty much torque this well also I'm gonna put the cap on this is the cap for it here you go let me zoom in so yeah so good so I mean you can like it goes only one way so you can like put it in a uh, other way so yeah so we'll put that and then I'll install the bottom cam and then we'll put the caps on too then we'll torque all of it I think they're like uh, I do 10 pounds I don't want to do more than 10 pounds I usually go by the fill and then once we install the cap uh, caps then I'll show you the the gears Venos gears all right simple as that also guys real quick before you install the uh, caps for all four cams you have this rings right here so make sure they're locked okay so see they're locked make sure they're locked and then you install the caps but yeah so for the cap make sure you lubricate them use whatever assembly lube or oil I use engine oil so I believe it goes like this yep so I'm sorry guys I forgot to film so it goes like this all right nice and snug so this is the numbers right here see they're just like facing up and then we have this bottom caps and they have numbers not this numbers but they have uh, numbers below they're kind of hard to see on the camera so that's the numbers it goes from one to five i believe or whatever so they're in order yeah all right All right, guys. As you can see, I just do it uh, crisscross uh, and just torque it. I did 10 pounds, no more than. I mean, first do hand tight, then 10 pounds should be enough. Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna do the exhaust side. All right, guys. So. What you want to do, make sure this cylinder 5, right? Well, not the first, but second one, that's cylinder 5. These lobes, they're facing up. Because that, that way you're not, the lobes, they're not pushing against rockers or nothing. It sits flush. So when you're going to put the caps right, and again, make sure these rings, they're closed like this. Let me focus, see? They're locked. Uh, I did put some engine oil, do some whatever lubrication you do. Then put the caps in order. It has numbers on them. So once we put this, we're gonna torque it again. Same spec, 10 pounds. And then after, like a million times I said, we're gonna put the gears. And the gears, they have labels. I told you exhaust side, it says, EX and intake says it says EN I mean IN but yeah so yeah make sure this lobes they're facing out up and same goes to the other side the passenger side the cylinder two lobes make sure they're facing up here it doesn't matter but here it does so yeah and make sure all the rockers uh they're all in place so they're not misplaced so yeah now we're gonna do some lubrication on uh, caps and install the caps all right easy cheesy lemon squeezy all right guys now we're gonna install the vanos gears so i'm gonna go with the exhaust side so for the exhaust side as you can see it says IUS that's in German I believe EX exhaust so yeah
all right guys that's how you install it so for the intake side it says in so pretty much you wanna so they have a it's a tensioner here if you like push the guide so you have a little slack to put the intake side once you put the both gears you put the uh, bolts bolts they're 16 mil i put some lock tie on it just in case so you want to hand tie all the way and then once it's all tightened you want to do like a half turn or a little more than half turn back so they're loose because we're gonna adjust the cams for the time timing so like i said make sure the crank is locked it's so it's in a locked position right now so now what you what we're gonna do we're gonna pretty much time the uh, this side the cams all right so the way you do it i'll show you right now all right guys so the way you do it pretty much since the crank is locked so you get a like a, ratch, a ratchet or whatever it fits in here here this spot so now we're gonna rotate the cams right so uh we want to do counterclockwise i believe hold on until we get this nudges here and then you get your tool right you have one for exhaust side and you have one for the intake side so you want to have a spot see we gotta rotate more all right guys so that's the position i'll show you what you want to do one second so the thing you want to do so if you can see this not just right and then this should sit this side flush with the head and top should sit flush with the head i'll show you from this side see it's sitting flush and here it's sitting flush and those two indents or whatever you want to call it so they should face up now we can torque this bolt so the 16 bolt for the vano so it's 80 mi 80 pounds or not well, whatever you call it well so we're gonna torque this right so the way you want to do it well obviously you need a torque wrench right so hold on so because it's 80 pounds so you want to get that ratchet right put it in there again so you want in you want to like counter it so you don't put a lot of stress on the uh the camshaft so i'll show you pretty much one second ladies and gentlemen let me attach this all right here we go and we're still flush there so now we're gonna do the same thing for the uh, intake side then obviously we're gonna take the pin we're gonna do two full rotations we're gonna recheck the timing see everything lines up if it lines up we're good to go all right let's do the intake side all right guys same process you should have two actually dots in here and then so i don't see that yet so we're gonna Give it a turn, right? So, okay, I want to go this side. I want to go clockwise, I believe. Okay, I see the indents. It's probably hard to see, but I'll zoom in more if I can see those two little dots there right there 
so that's what you want to see and now you want to get the intake side you want to put that in one sec let me zoom out so you see better all right obviously it's not lined up yet so we want to adjust that all right also one thing i forgot to do the exhaust side it's okay we're gonna recheck it well you have a this kind of locking mechanism so i'm gonna put it like this here we go so yeah so it's locked right so we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna counter it so i'm gonna put the camera here mm -hmm. so we're gonna torque that All right, guys, now I'm going to take that tool out. I'm going to take the pin out, too. I'm going to do full rotation, then uh, install those tools again. See for timing if everything lines up. Then we're good to go, pretty much. All right. All right, guys, so I'm going to do full two rotations right now. And insert the lock back and check for the, the timing. Alright guys, I did full two rotations, I've inserted the pin, also it should spin super freely when you're doing it, when you're spinning the crank, if it doesn't spin freely because the spark plugs is out or whatever, just stop spinning, so you probably did something wrong, but yeah, now let's go, let's check for the timing. Alright guys, we're gonna check the exhaust side, so I wanna... Make sure it's always seated. So, seems flush to me. It seems flush to me. So this side is good. Now, I wanna do the exhaust, I mean intake side. All right. Flush. Flush. So, driver's side is good. Now, I'm gonna check the passenger side real quick. All right, we're in the passenger side. Let's go for our intake side. All right, seems good to me. Flush, now let's go. Exhaust. So it's perfect, seems flush, seems flush, so that's how you do the timing, alright, the next thing we want to do now, assemble the other side, uh, I mean also guys, uh, I gotta put this, uh, tensioner here uh, yeah all right guys uh, just quick thing I forgot to mention before you all do all that timing uh, make sure you put this uh, little guide in here because I don't know for some reason I was just I just forgot to put it and time the engine so that's how you do it pretty much it just make sure you put this on I've put that on it was just tiny bit was off then I just Retimed it real quick the way I just showed you guys. So yeah, now it's all good, perfect. So yeah, make sure you put that little guy. And then 
uh, we're gonna put this oil tube it goes in there like this it has little tiny holes in there so make sure you uh, uh, do air compressed uh, or uh, brake cleaner whatever you want to just you want to flush it through do that and it actually has like a specific bolt uh, so it's this bolt right here see it has little groove in here this groove that's for the oil line to pass oil so yeah I'm gonna flush that real quick install that once I install that I can probably put the front cover I mean front cover is pretty self-explanatory yeah it's just you slap it on put the bolts and then well obviously put the vano solenoids once you put the vano solenoids I mean this side is done too pretty much then can put the alternator back attach the belt back and then uh, slap the valve covers and coil sparks bring the wiring back and that's it yeah all right let me just do this few things and I'll get back to you guys all right ladies and gentlemen so the front cover is in and the solenoids are in uh, well I've put the oil tube to put the spark plugs put the this uh, tubes for the valve cover it's all in and what you want to do you want to add some like silicon on the connecting points also I, I added in the bag I did all just thin layer just in case so it doesn't leak so those areas you want to be using some silicon and then I uh, will loop them around and also inside the valve covers because I just want to like so the valve cover goes in smoothly sits otherwise sometimes it can be a pain just to put this valve cover on so yeah oh everything seems fine I mean also I've did the same thing on the other side put the spark plugs those tubes and then I, all I have to do is the valve cover that's it and then well pretty much it's getting there yeah I still have to put the alternator but yeah okay let's put the valve cover all right guys so it's actually in uh, the way I found it easy to put the valve cover on into those tubes actually take those tubes out this tubes I'm talking about right put it on the valve covers first and put it with the valve cover it was much easier but it's done so it's torqued all the valve the valve cover is in the breather in here it's new because I've replaced it I have brand new Bosch OEM coil packs to have replaced that like a couple months ago so it's all torqued in spec this thing is new the gasket it's torqued then you have two bolts here see has bolt uh, uh, so it has a bolt but it has a bolt on top that's for the wire harness they attach on this two sides so make sure you put them here also uh, the top four bolts they're longer bottom ones they're shorter then you have the well the studs or whatever you call I did put the Voltronic motor in there too so this side is pretty much complete and also that was the old valve stem seals they were all bad they're like literally plastic they're not soft they should be soft so yeah now I'm just gonna do the same thing pretty much put the valve cover and all that stuff finish that bank and then put the belt and the alternate here and then we should be done I mean also bring the harness back and that's it it's ready to go in back in the car and hope for the best right I mean I know it's a wor working motor it's just I screw up with the valve stem seals just one valve 
dropped and that's what happened I had to pull the motor and everything but hopefully since I've replaced all that should work no smoking nothing and it's a super clean engine yeah let me just do that and then we'll probably finish this episode once I'm like put this whole thing together motor and then episode 3 or part 3 would be probably uh, installing this motor and the car and starting and see how it's gonna work all right all right guys that's what you want to do I've put the tubes here on the actual valve cover like I said it seems to be I mean that side went easy once I did this otherwise it was like it was really hard I was having trouble but yeah well let me show you guys if it's gonna go as easy as the other side you'll see how easy is it to do like this all right Alright guys, so it's fully seated, so I'm gonna just put the bolts, torque it to spec, and then, well, the rest of it stuff, then I'll show you the final result. Alright. Alright guys, so the motor is done pretty much. All I gotta put is the serpentine belt. Still have to put that alternator, it needs to be clean, it's just two bolts goes in here and then put the serpentine belt and bring all this wire loop back and connect everything I mean it's just simple things so uh, but everything else has been done so see how clean is it it's all clean everything it's been replaced so good new coil packs well I had it on like I said well all the Volvtronic uh, uh, motors they're in everything just needs to be calibrated with, with the scanner that's once on the car and the car starts but yeah I mean yeah this is it as you can tell it's gonna go in that car so yeah Alright guys, uh, please like, like, subscribe, share, it really helps. I do want to reach 2,000 subscribers at least, uh, I don't know, and then we'll see from there. Because I mean, as you can see, it's a, a lot of work, so I'm trying to do content to you guys as much as I can, and trying to show as much as knowledge I can it's hard mixing both <laughs> also when you're doing all this by yourself but yeah all right as you can see here you go the motor is done next episode probably gonna go in that car so yeah all right guys enough talking peace see you next time